Now back to our story about accused serial killer Sean Great. Tonight, the Marion County Sheriff says he confessed to killing an unidentified woman there. According to the Marion County Sheriff, the suspected serial killer was very forthcoming, even polite, as he confessed to a murder that detectives had been trying to solve since 2007. I would call him a serial killer. Yes, I would. Sheriff Tim Bailey revealed his investigators got that confession from great last Friday at the Ashland Police Department, and he feels it's possible the number of killings linked to great will rise. I would be looking for some more. Uh, dead bodies. In 2007, bones belonging to a white woman were found deep in a cornfield on Victory Road just outside of Marion. Detectives haven't been able to ID her, even with a sketch showing what she could look like. Nobody had no idea who she was. We tried, we couldn't, you know, nobody ever heard who it was. Had no name, no nothing. But then came Great's stunning admission. The sheriff says Great confessed he was angry at a magazine saleswoman for not delivering the magazine his mom ordered. So a few months later, he kidnapped yes. her. He took her to a residence uh, south of the city of Marion, where he took her into the house. Uh, he stabbed her, and then uh, he hit her in the basement for two days. A year later, the sheriff says Great returned to the murder scene and burned the remains, which were found in 2007. But Great said he may have killed a woman as early as 2003 and thinks her name was Diane or Dana, but didn't know a last name. He also said the sketch did not resemble the victim. There is no starting point. I don't know if she came from Mexico or California or the neighboring county. No charges yet in the Marion County murder as detectives try to figure out who could have been the first victim of a serial killer. I hope if that man did that, I hope he's in prison from now and don't never want him out again. The sheriff also revealed that his investigators will meet with the FBI soon to put together a profile on Sean Great. Whether he's linked to any more murders remains to be seen. In Marion, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.